Good morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Ayla, and it's First Things First period on Monday, September 23rd, 2019. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Sanjuko. All students interested in applying for Stage Crew for Peter Pan Jr. can pick up applications in the student store wall pockets. Completed applications need to go to Mrs. Garcia on the stage or in her mailbox in the office by tomorrow. Celebrate Band Book Week in the TJMS Library. Find one of the band books, follow the instructions on Google Classroom to take a shelfie and earn a prize. Now, let's go to Eileen and John to learn more about the club's meeting this week. Clubs start meeting this week. If you didn't have a chance to check out the club on Friday, no problem. Go to the meeting when it is announced. The Girls Who Code Club will begin today, right after school in MJ5. The meeting will end by 4 p.m. There are over 185,000 girls who code members throughout the country. There is no cost to join the club. Be ready after school to have some fun. The Anime Manga Club will meet in MK1 today too. On Tuesday, head over to MJ4 for the Filipino Club meeting. You don't have to be Filipino to join. Looking for a place to find friends, to feel comfortable, and to fit in? Then Toby Johnson's LGBTQ Plus Club is for you. Come to our first club meeting this Wednesday. September 25th at 3.30 in MK8. Help us celebrate Allied Week. All are welcome. Don't miss the first K-pop club meeting for this year. It is in MH11 on Friday from 2.45 to 3.30 after school. Come listen to some K-pop music and see some K-pop videos. It's going to be fun. Now back to you, Ayla. All Royal J members, the first regular meeting will take place on Thursday, September 26th at 2.50 p.m. 7th graders will meet in MF8 and 8th graders will meet in MH8. These meetings for, are only for members who have already attended a Royal J orientation. See Mrs. Dvorak with any questions. Teachers, please hand out the Best Dress coupon for Monday. If you're awarded Best Dress, come to the speaker at lunch to claim your prize. You have a chance to win every day. Tomorrow is Spirit Day's Pajama Day. Accessorize with a sleep mask, curlers, or messy hair. Wednesday is Sidekick Day. Most fairy tale characters have a sidekick, so dress up as Mushu, the Seven Dwarfs, Flounder, or any other sidekick. Thursday is Fairy Tale Sibling Day. Grab a friend and dress up as Cinderella's stepsisters, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, Hansel and Gretel, or just twin with a friend. Friday is Happily Ever After Day. Come to school dressed as anything that makes you happy, like a prince, a princess, or your dream job. The tailgate party is Friday. You must purchase food tickets from the student store windows at About the lunch 120 to use for students food at the tailgate party. There has been a menu change. No spam asubi will be available at the tailgate party, but happy lemon boba and Auntie Anne's pretzel bites with cheese sauce will definitely be there. Now let's go to Jenna Gibson to learn more about biking to school. About 120 students ride their bike to school each day. With only 120 students riding their bike out of the 1,400 kids at Toby, traffic can get pretty hectic and cyclists are at risk. Many bikers have already come close to being hit by a car. I've been crossing a street and a car just sometimes just doesn't stop. And that's the same story for others. There was one time I was coming around the corner to get to the gate and then to get over there and then I almost got hit by one of the cars. This car came flying by and almost hit me, but I stopped. With cars, pedestrians, and bikers, students and parents have to stay alert in order to keep our campus safe. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Jenna Gibson. Thanks, Jenna. Be careful when you bike to school. The Hornet 7 team had a great trip to Sac State last week. Students went on a tour of the campus and ate a lot in the dining commons. It was great. Now let's go to Raphael to learn more about the lost and found items. Every day, lost belongings are sent to the lost and found cabinet in the MP room. Currently, lost and found items include three lunch bags, a lot of hoodies, Air Max shoes, two pencil pouches, and a, and a Peter Pan book. Many of these items are valuable. Expensive jackets, uh, water bottles, expensive ones. We estimated the whole worth of the lost and found items to be about $950. I think I feel that, that the students should be more aware of their stuff 
and then if they lose something today, I mean, to come tomorrow right away and get it. The lost and found items are eventually donated if they aren't claimed. Stop by the lost and found to see if any of the hoodies or other belongings are yours. Reporting for TJTV, I'm Raphael. Thanks, Raphael. Make sure to check the lost and found items if you lose something. And that wraps it up for today's show. Tune in tomorrow for more stories and information on First, first Things First on TJTV. TV. I'm Ayla. Thank you for watching. And I'm Sanjita. Make today your best day yet.